My name is Lindsay Stripling. I'm 30, I'm a painter, and I live in San Francisco. I use watercolor because I think it is, well, I think it's beautiful. Watercolor has a way of creating transparency that I think is really important for my work personally. Um, like layers of transparency help me to be able to speak about time and space in the way that I think is important. I don't think that our world is that logical and I don't think it makes that much sense. I think a lot about light and space <clears throat> and also truth telling in the way that I frame images or frame spaces. There's like multiple vantage points and multiple ways of like telling a story through an image. So I definitely think that that translates into my paintings. In the mornings when I'm getting ready to paint, um, I have like, I've found that it's easier for me to get into it if I create ritual around it. So I usually wake up and read for about a half hour and then I turn on some music and I usually like open the windows and make sure there's a lot of light, clean my desk a little bit and then I sit down and try and like get into a new project or something that's gonna be quick and a good warm up before I move into some of my larger pieces. I'm obsessed with color. I also really like mixing up all the color all the time. Like I'll make a lot of muddy water that I like to use. I don't like things to be really clean or too vibrant. I like it when they're a little grayed down, which is probably um, like affected by the fact that I live in the sunset and everything's a little bit gray out here. Also um, saturated um, when the gray is happening. So there's like some really saturated colors, but most of everything is like muddy and dirty and a little bit gross and I like that. So growing up uh, I would go over to my grandma's house and she would hand me and my sister a tin of crayons and blank sheets of paper, like huge blank sheets of paper and that was what we were supposed to do to entertain ourselves was draw and being kids we loved it and had a great time. There is like a little bit of a connection between what I made when I was a kid only because I'm thinking of this one painting that my mom like of course got framed and is like hanging in our living room but I was like painting with I want to say it was like finger paints or it must have been finger paints and it was like red and green but I like made them into a gray and I just like painted the whole thing this like horrible gray color with like dots of like muted red and green in there but it definitely like makes me think of what I was just talking about about color and it being gray and dirty and being into that. When I went to college, I don't think that I set out with the intention of being an artist because I don't think I understood that you could be an artist. I really loved working in the studio. I love process, I love painting. I really like developing photos. Setting aside time to read before I paint and setting aside time to read when I get home from work late at night like helps me think creatively when I'm in the studio. Um, it all like comes together. I think one of the really great things about um, painting with watercolor and being able to work that quickly is the ability to kind of be a chameleon. You can kind of change what your interests are, be learning new things. I'm down with like a lot of ugly, bad paintings to happen. They need to happen in order to like clear the space for like good painting. I've been experimenting with ceramics, like as far as being creative, and then I also um, teach classes, so I teach watercolor classes and workshops through this awesome little um, art store down in the Outer Sunset called Case for Making. I want everything to be available for anyone to be able to come and like partake in it and also take com something home from it. Like I don't want people to go and be like, well, I don't have $500, so <laughs> looks like I'm not taking any artwork home. But I also want you to be able to be like, well, there is a mug here that she's made that's like speaking to this like larger topic that I'm interested in and I can't afford that. I think our job as artists is to be problem solvers. Like I pretty much just create a series of obstacles for myself and like fuck everything up and then have to figure it out. <laughs> that's what I like, I think. <laughs>